Runners and spectators from around the world flooded into Boston for the Boston Marathon. All eyes and all cameras were on the finish line as journalists joined the crowds to capture the excitement. Journalists like Providence Channel 6's Caitlin Gellhouse. We wanted to have an active live scene, right? We, we don't want to be like against a wall and be like, yeah, the race is over there. While the marathon may have security, not every scene will. And reporting can be dangerous for journalists, especially for women. Many reporters have discussed being harassed and stalked, so reporters have to remain vigilant. It's so important to be aware of your surroundings at all times. Know where there's an exit, know where there's an escape route. It may be difficult for young journalists to make their way to an event as imposing as the Boston Marathon. Some may be looking for an environment a little bit more familiar. An environment like a classroom. Later in the week, journalists from across the Northeast gathered at Emerson College and heard from Leslie Visser. She said to me, that's great. Sometimes you have to cross when it says don't walk. Vasir is a trailblazer in an industry that is requiring its leaders to protect their teams. According to the Radio and Television Digital News Association, 86% of news directors have purchased bulletproof vests to protect their reporters. Despite these dangers, Vasir wanted to leave the young journalist with a nugget to hold on to. The truth is what we have. That's what all of you have here. Groups like the International Women's Media Foundation have begun leading safety trainings for journalists. For WEBJ News, I'm Drake Skelly.